about 6.20 in the morning just at 7-Eleven, had some water, 7-Eleven, got a little sports drink, now let's go for a run around Lumpini Park. I never recommend training fasted. A little bit of sugar in your system, so you're G'd up, ready to go. Don't use the caffeine, use sugar and water, fruit, some, just some simple sugars for the brain. Just locked my bike up, probably don't even need a lock, but I'll just do it anyway. This is Lumpini Park, got traffic still coming in here, people want to go for a jog or whatever, but just ride your bike and get to training, they're already starting to run now, so this is a busy, busy place to run, it's really good. These reflective strips are really good, really good. So sort of fly on the Team Vegan here. I'm definitely the fastest runner in Lumpini Park, unless Harry turns up. Best way to start the day, a bit of cardio. Listen, listen, there's a cow over here. There's crows. There's a lizard here, look at him. Fucking huge. Crows won't be that. Here we go, here we go. Oh wow. Now the, now the cat's moving in. The cat is moving in. This is like me, and that's a bit of fame, and that's all these little snitch strong YouTubers that would uh, leech off me. <laughs> leech strong. <laughs> I know how you feel, lizard. I know how you feel. And the cat is just smelling the fish and just triggered. Oh, this is an epic run. This is an epic run. <laughs> what the fuck? It's only in Thailand, only in Thailand. So I just did 13K. Basically want to run for about an hour and a half. I can feel my little hips a bit in the end, so I just caught it an hour and a half. So 13K, quite a slow paced jog, but good time on the feet, and that's what I need. I don't need cardio. Get that from the bike, but I need some time on the foots. We've got 13k there. So that's like me doing a half marathon basically, and I feel really fresh cardio wise, not taxing at all, but I can feel it in uh, my feet, my foots, and I can feel it a little bit in my hips. So it's good, uh, good conditioning, not too much. If you ever got pain running, stop, walk, jump on your bike, finish. And as soon as your form starts going down here, I can feel my form is starting to taper off a bit. Running with bad form just teaches more bad form. So basically, I base my runs, my long runs. As soon as my form starts to go out the window, boom, end of session, end of session. Form is everything in running. Too many years to realize that, but form is everything. Form is speed, form is injury prevention, form is also third enjoyment. For now, I'm gonna go get some water and some fruits for breakfast, and that's how I do it. So nice and light in the morning, just wake up, have a cup of water, uh, some sort of sugar solution or some sort of piece of fruit, and then go out for an hour uh, or less, and then come back, have breakfast. Easy done. It's the cats of Lumpini. And got the bike still here. As it always is in Thailand, I just bumped into a, a guy from the US. I mean, I, I see this as him like years ago when I used to live in Bangkok, and uh, he's from Iowa. And he's just, I remember I used to see him running, he used to be all right runner. And then I'd see him like running with pain, and he'd be limping around. And then uh, now he just he shuffles, he can't even walk properly. So he uses running uh, for his cardio, for his fitness, for weight loss. But if you use the bicycle, it could still be running right now. So some people learn the hard way, and some people don't learn at all. Uh, I learned the hard way. Always use, never use running as your sole primary forms of training. Use bicycle. The bicycle's the best. Because now I get to commute, I get to save money, burn fat and oil, stay fit, stay lean, carb the fuck up, enjoy my food, enjoy life. So don't run through, if you've got pain, do not run, do not run. And I, I saw so many people in that park running with pain, I could have filmed them, but uh, yeah, if you're limping, don't run. If you have any pain, don't run. Ride your bike instead. Ride your bike instead. Take as much time as you need to get to heal, to recover, and find out what was the cause of your injury. Most of the time, it's bad fashion footwear. 
All right, let's get some breakfast. And cycling is a great way to cool down after a run. Like if I was sitting in a car, I'd be all sweaty and blah. on the bike, I get to cool down, get the, get the blood flow going, get the recovery. That's what I'm talking about. It's all about recovery. It's all about recovery. That's what it's all about. Look, mum, no hands. And this is so good riding the bike after a run. Oh, legs feel so good. Even Mo Farah has been watching my videos apparently and he's using more cycling training in his running. Results speak for themselves. So yeah, just get your legs turned on. That's how I can run so fast with such little mileage in the running. Cycling, baby, cycling. Injury prevention, injury maintenance. Injury prevention is more important though. <laughs> injury recovery. Do your best not to get injured. Train smarter, not harder. A little cat face. <clears throat> Got some water and eight bananas for breakfast. There we go. Water, sugar. Water, sugar. Easy. Thank you.